Okay, good morning. So we will continue with ratio analysis and uh, we are going to do a few more additional interesting problems in ratio analysis. So I'll uh, type out a question. Kindly copy this. I'll share an Excel sheet with you. So kindly confirm the read between the screen. Excel sheet. Excel sheet period, Dapa. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, I will type it. Small question only. I'll type it out. You can note it down. Okay, from the following information. Information may talk. A statement of proprietary quantity. Proprietary. Once it has much different as possible. Current ratio. Current ratio two point five. Proprietary ratio proprietary ratio fixed as divided by proprietary funds. Zero point seven three. But in capital sixty. Bank overdraft rupees ten thousand. Liquid ratio one point five. Reserves and surplus what it out. There is no long term loan or fictitious assets. Very important type of problem. Okay. So, this is the problem for us. So, let us proceed to the solution. So we have been given current ratio 2.5, working capital 60,000. Prepare, prepare a statement of proprietor fund. So first of all, I'll show you how a statement of proprietor fund will look like. Very, very important. It's a special format. I'll show you that it starts with uh, sources of funds and then it ends with application of funds. So statement of proprietary funds plus sources, sources of funds. Sources of funds under that equity share capital in the format of okay? it and the gross net surplus. And we have application of funds under that you have got investment of funds. Investment of funds in the application, and the owner of fixed assets, investments are all under fixed assets, then current assets, net current assets, or working capital. And the current assets, and the stock, other liquid assets, then less current liabilities. And then you got credit cards, bank or that. So these are all the elements of. So here, carefully observe sources of funds, liquidity capital for no reserves and surplus, application of funds of the You have fixed assets, net current assets. So current assets minus current liability is your net current assets. So random match. So we have to find out the figures here. So let us look at current ratio first. Current ratio 2.5. Correct. Current ratio is given as 2.5. So current assets by current liabilities. 
2.5. So, carefully observe, current assets is equal to equal to 2.5 current liabilities, cross multiplied. We have to put the working capital. What is working capital? Can you tell me? What is 60,000? So, current assets is equal to, so current assets minus current liability is equal to working capital. Okay. So, current asset is 2.5 current liabilities. So, 2.5 current liabilities minus current liabilities is equal to 60,000. So, 1.5 current liability is equal to 60,000. So, current liability is equal to 40,000. Any doubt in this? So, current assets minus current liability is 40,000 is equal to 60,000. Okay. So, current assets go to how much? Any doubt in this calculation? We have been given current ratio as 2.5. And current ratio, we know the formula, current assets by current liability is 2.5. And we also know uh, we can actually cross multiply and arrive at current assets is equal to 2.5 current liability. So it's a sort of a replacement technique, what we call. And working capital is given as 60,000. So current asset minus current liability is working capital. And replacing current asset as 2.5 current liabilities and arriving at 2.5 current liabilities minus current liabilities equal to 60,000. So 1.5 current liabilities is equal to 60,000. Current liability is 40,000. So, since we know working capital is 60,000, current assets minus 40,000, current liability is 60,000. So, current asset is 1 lakh. Any doubt in this calculation? Am I audible? Sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. Yeah, any doubt in this? No doubt? Am I audible or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Shall we proceed? Are you clear about this kind of question? So here, the total current asset I am giving here as stock and other liquid assets. So we have been given liquid ratio. Liquid ratio and the formula solo. In the case of actual, though there is a bank overdraft, we will not reduce it from what? Current liability. We will not reduce it from current liability. Because normally bank overdraft can be reduced to arrive at liquid ratio, but uh, generally speaking, we will not do unless we have enough indication. So liquid ratio 1.5. Current assets minus stock divided by current liability is equal to 1.5. Current asset is 1 lakh minus stock divided by current liability is 40,000 is equal to 1.5. So 1 lakh minus stock is equal to 60 cross multiplying. 1 lakh minus stock is equal to 1.5 into 40,000, which is 60,000 cross multiplied. So, stock is equal to how much? How much? 1 lakh minus stock is equal to 60,000. What is stock? 40,000. Yeah? 40,000. Correct. Good. 40,000. So, we got stock here 40,000. So, I am going to put under current asset stock in the column 40,000. Then automatically it means other current asset 60,000, other liquid assets 60,000. So, that makes it as 1 lakh. So, total 1 lakh. And current liabilities, you got 30,000 bank overdraft. Now, we have to understand bank overdraft is given already to us as 10,000. Total 30,000, 40,000. So, 30,000. Total current liability 40,000. And bank order up is 10,000. So, credit as balancing figure, 30,000. Any doubt in this? So, this is a very interesting step here. We have identified current assets, another we have identified stock, and other liquid assets. We have identified credit as and bank order. Up. Now, another important formula I'm going to tell you carefully observe. Proprietary ratio is equal to, is given as 0.75. Very important. That is fixed assets by proprietors funds equal to 0 0.75. Now, very important, there is a connection, connect between proprietors funds and working capital. Carefully, fixed assets. Fixed assets plus working capital is equal to proprietary funds. Make a note. Fixed assets plus working capital is equal to proprietary fund. So, so 
fixed assets divided by proprietary uh, working cap since fixed assets since fixed assets by proprietary fund is equal to 0 0.75 working capital to proprietary fund working capital to proprietary fund is equal to 0 0.25 Okay, understood this very, very important. Hope you're noting it down. Proprietary ratio 0.75. That is fixed assets to proprietary fund is 0.75. And since fixed assets plus working capital is equal to your proprietary fund, the balancing figure is 0.25 is working capital to proprietary fund. We know what is working capital. So what is working capital? We just now calculated. Working capital is 1 lakh minus 40,000, 60,000. 60,000 by proprietary fund is equal to 0.25. So what is proprietary fund? 60,000 by PF, proprietary fund is 0.25. So what is proprietary fund? Can you tell me what is proprietary fund? An audible or not? Two lakh forty thousand. Good. Two lakh forty thousand. So proprietary fund is covering share capital and reserves and surplus. Proprietary fund covers share capital and reserves and surplus. So what is share capital has been given? Reserves and surplus forty thousand. So reserves and surplus is forty thousand. Balancing figure two lakhs is into share capital because total proprietary fund is two lakh forty thousand. Two lakh forty thousand. Apo, fixed assets and balancing figure easier for the let the APN of the new fixed assets to proprietary fund is 0.75 of a fixed assets available since 0 0.75 fixed assets for how much? We have to proprietary fund, yeah. so that is fixed assets to by 2 lakh 40,000 is equal to 0.75. So, fixed assets for how much? Cross multiply 2 lakh 40,000 into 0.75. 2 lakh 40,000 correct. 1 lakh 80,000. So, in balancing figure the obvious, huh? but still you can get that number. Fixed assets for 1 lakh 80,000. So, here you have got the total 2 lakh 40. Proprietary funds 2 lakh 40 total. Sources of funds and application of funds total 1 lakh 80 is your fixed assets, net current assets are 60,000. And your portal figures are your portal is your phone. 2 lakh 40. So, in your under 1 lakh 80. In your under 1 lakh minus 40 is 60. 2 lakh 40. With a statement of appropriate response. So 2 lakh 40, 2 lakh 40. In the sources 2 lakh 40, application 2 lakh 40. Okay, understood? Any doubt? No doubt. Who pays any doubt? Sir, no doubt, sir. Who pays? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Sir, Bharat Narayan, am I audible? Any doubts? Yes, sir, audible, sir. No doubt. One minute. Bharat Narayan, any doubts? No, oh, sir. Clear? Bhupesh? Yes, sir, clear, sir. Okay. Venkatesh? Negative, any doubts? No doubt, sir. Okay, it's clear. Let's proceed further. Okay. So, this is a very interesting problem. Hope you have understood. You will regularly get in the exam. I hope you have noted down the answer also. So, we have arrived at the statement of proprietors' funds, tally the sources and applications. So, sources, applications, and then to the left. Okay, clear. We'll go to the next problem. All of you are silent, right?
Shall we proceed to the next problem? One minute, sir. One minute, sir. So kindly copy this. And uh, if you have copied, that, uh, copied it down, we can go to the next problem. Prasit Malama, next problem. Can we proceed to the next problem? Have you noted down? Yes, sir. All of you are not to know. Shall we proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you make a note of this question? It's a very interesting problem with mental consume. The following accounting information and financial ratios of XYZ Limited relates to the year ended. Thirty-one three ninety-seven. Gross profit. Ten percent of sales. Gross profit. Ten percent of sales. Net profit. Eight percent of sales. Eight percent of sales. Raw material consumed. Twenty percent of box cost. Direct wages. Direct wages. Ten percent of box cost. Stock of raw material three months usage. Three months usage. Stock of finished goods sixty days. Sixty days. All sales are on credit. All sales are on credit. Then ratios they have given fixed assets to sales. So the sets to sales one is to three. It set the to current assets. It set the to current assets. Thirteen is to eleven. Current ratio two. Current 
long term loan to current liabilities. Who is to work? Capital to reserves and surplus. Capital to reserves and surplus. One is to four. If value of fixed assets as on 31397 amounted to rupees 26 lakhs, 26 lakhs, prepare a summarized profit loss account. Prepare a summarized profit loss account of the company for the year ended 3397 and balance sheet. And balance. Very interesting problem. So we are supposed to prepare P and L account and balance sheet. Okay, solution profit loss account for the year ended. 31397. Normally, when you prepare a trading PNL, that is actual. PNL no question of Kurta Lame. Since there is raw material consumed, gross profit information is all available. It is trading in PNL. So, normally, trading in PNL, first thing up on no, raw material consumed to Kutraga. So, to raw material consumed, raw material consumed to Kutraga, figures run a four run a format matto will four run first to direct wages. Edubo amount will calculate on no. So, to raw material consumed. To work for it. If they are on the direct wages, raw material consumer, works cost for the company. So there is a gross profit figure, there is a net profit figure, there is raw material to consume, there is direct wages, and um, uh, balancing figure, if any, should be your uh, works over it. Should be works over it, balancing figure. So, are you can path of home? Let it follow in general format, okay? To gross profit. By sales. Sales figure. Sales figure. Okay, by sales. Then this is your trading account generally. Okay, then once you get the trading account figures, then go to P and L. Trading account portal to P and L portal. No? So let's proceed for by gross profit. You know, formatted, okay. By gross profit, then to selling and distribution over it. Now, carefully observe. There is a gross profit ratio of 15%, net profit ratio of 8%. And that means in between there is some cost. So that is assumed as selling and distribution over it. Or for administration over it, whatever. To admin, comma, SND over it. Balancing figure to net profits. To net profit. You know, format, okay. Balance sheet map on first you know calculation working start right. So in the Mukiman information path on the Mari sum lagore or numerical number in our number repair. Value of fixed assets matter not. So other sum we have to calculate the other numbers. So fixed assets is given as 26 lakhs and fixed assets which take as one is to two. So that's a crucial information. So let us use this information. Fixed assets. Fixed assets is given as 26 lakhs. Fixed assets to sales is equal to how much? 1 is to 3. Since fixed assets is equal to rupees 26 lakhs, sales equal to how much? Cross multiply. Fixed assets is 26 lakhs by sales is equal to 1 is to 3. Since fixed assets is 26 lakhs, sales is how much? Can anyone tell me? 78. Sorry? 78, 78 lakhs. Good. Very good. Now, Papuria, you can see the online class. You can see the open money. You can see the calculation. So, 
So I am asking everyone to end and again. You need to keep responding. Bupesh, are you clear about this calculation? Sir, Maradi is soldering, sir. One second, soldering. What? Maradi is soldering, sir. Sales fixer is a storage. Hello? Sir. Hello? So, this is a mathematical calculation where fixed assets is 26 lakhs, fixed assets to sale is 1 is to 3. Apo sales are available. 3 times of fixed assets, not only. Yeah. So, 78 lakhs. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Then there is one more uh, formula fixed assets to current assets, 13 is to 11. Fixed assets to current assets equal to 13 by 11 or 13 is to 11. So if fixed assets equal to rupees 26 lakhs, so 26 lakhs in question layer, ka, sir. Illa, adu, 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 uh, question the Kutra can it? But Edic layer, question Edic layer. Ah, fixed asset, Tanya, partner, sir, Mutuka Tringla. You're okay, Pat, and good. Ah, okay, so is in the case there. Ah, it is, sir. Now, capital reserve and surplus are gone, sir. Fixed assets, twenty six lakhs. Okay, yeah. Okay, so fixed assets to current assets is thirteen is eleven. So, if fixed assets is twenty six lakhs, then current assets are also going to If 13 is 26 lakhs, what is 11? 22 lakhs. 22 lakhs. Correct. So current assets is 22 lakhs. Then they have given current ratio, they have given as current ratio, they have given as what is the formula? Current ratio divided by current liabilities. Correct. Sir. Super. In the ratio of the question, there are two. No so, current assets by current liabilities, two. Have they given any information regarding current assets, current liabilities? See, current liabilities is equal to current assets by current liabilities, two. Is no that information? Current assets, current liabilities. Okay. Fixed assets by current assets, 22 lakhs. We calculate it. calculate it. Fixed assets to current assets is equal to so current ratio. We have to do this. Current assets 22 lakhs. So current assets 22 lakhs by current liability is equal to 2. So current liability is equal to how much? 11 lakhs. 11 lakhs. Good. Current assets by current liabilities equal to 2. If current assets is 22 lakhs, current liability is how much? 11 lakhs. All of you understood this calculation? Yes, sir. Okay. Then they have given uh, very important debt collection period is debt collection period is 60 days. Assume 365 days in India. Okay. It's equal to 60 days. 
Debt collection period is equal to 60 days. All sales are credit sales. Since all sales are credit sales, credit sales we got it as 78 lakhs, right? So collection period is equal to data debtors into 365 by credit sales. So debtors can be given so collection period 60 days put is equal to data into 365 by 78 lakhs. So 60 days put so 78 lakhs. Quota you will get data. So data is equal to Olapa. Data is equal to how much? 60 is equal to data into so no gaining every right panel. 60 is equal to data into 365 by 7 quota. Uh, so 60 days into 78 lakhs is equal to 60 days into 78 by 365. Calculate one more. 78 lakhs by 365. Then you calculate one more. That is 60 dollar multiply one more. You'll get data. 78 lakhs by 365 is 30 sales per day. Into 60 days for data is correct. 182,192. 182,222. 192. Well, if you have a lot of rupees, you can't get a lot of So, 78 lakhs in rupees 12.822 lakhs. Okay. Understood this calculation? Let me repeat. Debtors collection. Debt collection period is given as 60 days. So, debtors into 365 by credit sales is what is the formula. And we know debtors is 60 days is equal to. 60 formula on the right panel, 60 is equal to 60 days is equal to debtors into 365 by 78 lakhs. 78 lakhs in the lakhs in the 78 may put around so that easy up for you. Okay, here they are done. Debtors equal to 60 days into 78 lakhs and other 78 by 365 into so 60 into 78 by 365 will give you 12.82 lakhs, 822 lakhs that is debtors. This is an important calculation. Any doubt in this calculation? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Clear? Yeah. No, sir. Fine. Okay, next. So we have got debt collection cleared and debt as calculation done. Then we have to calculate works cost. Works cost important, sales minus gross profit. Because there is no other cost here. Sales is 78 lakhs minus gross profit is what percentage? That's the question. Have you noted down the question? What is gross profit percentage? 15%. So 78 minus 15% of sales is 11.7. 78 minus 11.7 is 66.3. So works cost is 66.3 lakhs. I'll repeat, works cost is equal to sales minus gross profit and which is 78 lakhs minus 15% of sales with gross profit. So 15% of 78 lakhs is 11.7 .7 lakhs and you'll get 66.3 lakhs. This is your works cost. Then, any doubt? So if you have a stone, let us go to the trading in P&L. So raw metal consumed is 20% of works cost. You put the number more. Raw metal consumed is 20% of works cost. We already got works cost as 66.3 lakhs. So raw metal consumed is 20% of 66.3 lakhs. So tell me what is 20% of 66.3 lakhs? Thirteen point two six. Eight point two six. Thirteen point two six. Thirteen point two six. Then direct wages they have given as what? Direct wages is given as 10% of works cost. 10% of works cost which is 66.3 lakhs. 6.63, okay? Now sales is 78 lakhs, we know that. And gross profit is 15% of sales. So that is 15% of 78 lakhs. 11.7. The balancing figure da na ulaga works only. 
So what is the balancing figure? Can you tell me? That's your work for it. Venkatesh, are you hearing me? Any doubts? No, sir. So what is uh, the, uh, tell me, the what is the balancing figure works for it? Yeah, seven seconds. Forty-six point four one. Good. Forty-six point four one is the balancing figure. That's the right answer. So, all of you are able to understand this. You got sales of seventy-eight lakhs, all rupees in lakhs. Okay. All rupees in lakhs. Okay. So you got twenty percent of sales is raw milk consumed. Ten percent of sales is direct wages. Balancing things works overhead. Gross profit is 15%. So by gross profit, so total is 78 lakhs, 78 lakhs. So gross profit is 11.7 lakhs. And net profit is what percentage of sales? 8% of sales. 8% of 78 lakhs. What is 8% of 78 lakhs? That is your net profit. Can you tell me? What's eight percent of seventy-eight lakhs? Hmm? Six point two four. Six point two four is the right answer. So net profit is six point two four. Apo, I have to say Mari. Eleven point seven is gross profit. Six point two four is the balancing figure. Is your admin selling and distribution or it's? What is the balancing figure? 5.46. Sorry? 5.46. Very good. So we have completed profit loss account, which is trading and profit loss. In fact, you can call this as trading and profit loss, though the question says only pay in that, no problem. So any doubt in this? All of you have understood? None of you are uh, coming in video at all. It's becoming a problem for communication for me. You don't understand that. Because I'm not able to hear you properly. You're not speaking up also. You're not coming on video and telling me whether you understood or not. So in online class, either you should say yes, no, or you should come on video so that I can know whether you're able to follow me or not. Now, Bharat Narayan. Puriyarga? Puriyarga, sir. Video uh, the video, you can see the customer. No, no, sir. No, no, sir. Come to the video class. 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 Come to the video you all can come on video. No, what is the problem? You're all shy. You're all doing a professional course. Are you all shy? No, no, sir, no, sir. So what is the problem? Why are you not sitting uh, on your video? To... Sorry. Illa no, sir, phone and nikka vechi amundha katra na kanda stand. No, sir, no, sir. Very okay, 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 okay. I understand. Sorry, okay, no issues, no problem, but at least keep communicating and huh? keep telling me whether you understood or not. Ah, okay, Please yeah. note in the stating p and no. Shall we proceed to balance sheet? Yes, sir. Okay. So let us proceed for balance sheet. So in balance sheet, let us we know assets liabilities. What is the total current assets we know? What is data as we know? So total current assets developer. Total current assets developer. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 lakhs, sir. Total current assets 22 lakhs. Very good. That's why we have to do that. That's why we have to do that. That's why we have to do that. 
डेटास ट्वेल्थ लाख एटी टू थाउजेंड में होगा करेक्ट करेक्ट ट्वेल्थ पॉइंट एटी टू रेंडर डिजिट्स कुछ अपन ट्वेल्थ पॉइंट एटी टू स्टॉक ऑफ रॉम इंटरेल नॉन कुत्र का बारे में स्टॉक ऑफ रॉम इंटरेल लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन कुत्र का स्टॉक ऑफ रॉम इंटरेल एस पर क्वेश्चन कैन यू टेल मी थ्री मंथ्स यू स्टेज इन कुत्र का अगर हम इंटर कैलकुलेट पन ले हम कैलकुलेट करन So three months you say is that uh, three by twelve into metal consumed. I give for rounding note. Stock of raw material. Three months you say. So you say so raw material consumed into three by twelve. Raw material consumed is six to six point three lakhs. Into three by twelve. Another sort of a problem. The raw material is thirteen point two six. Good. The raw material is thirteen point two six. Stock of raw material is thirteen point two six into three by twelve. Sorry, thirteen point two six. Yeah, thirteen point two six into three by twelve. Three point three one five. Three point three one five. Okay, three two. Round off to three point three two. So stock of raw material, I am putting it as three point three two. Data is twelve point. Eight two stock of raw material three point three two then stock of finished goods. Sir, I am going to ask. First thing, stock of finished goods. Sir, I am going to ask. Sir, sir. Stock of yeah. Sir, uh, raw material. Yes. Stock of raw materials. Now the opening stock. Can I get that, sir? No, consumed goods. That means opening stock. Can I get that? Raw material consumed. That means opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Can I get that? Directly, that value goes to top. Oh, okay. So opening stock na ma pora vanda closing stock matto thaniya ennan kuthar ka so that you determine three months you say jinna adhe mari stock of finished goods sixty days okay sir stock of finished goods sixty days of uh, finished goods uh, stock of finished goods ennan kuthar ka parango debt collection period na sixty days stock of finished goods six percent of works cost stock of finished goods in working not pora okay sir six percent of Works cost. So, what is six percent of works cost? Works cost developed on sixty-six point three. Six percent of sixty-six point three. That is your stock of finished goods. Hello, over there. Six percent of sixty-six point three. कैश Can you tell me what is the balancing figure? Out of twenty-two lakhs, twelve point eight two is debtors. One point eight eight. Good. One point eight eight is the balancing figure. Twenty-two. Then coming to liability side, equity share capital. कैपिटल 
அதுக்கப்புறம் லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் கொடுத்துருக்கோம் அப்புறம் கரண்ட் லைபிலிட்டிஸ் நம்ம கண்டுபிடிச்சாச்சு கரண்ட் லைபிரிட்டிஸ் எப்பயும் நமக்கு தெரியும் எவ்வளவு லெவன் லேக்ஸ் ஸோ லெவன் லேக்ஸ் அது விட்டுருமோ இப்போ முக்கியமா லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் டு கரண்ட் லைபிலிட்டிஸ் டூ டூ அண்ட் தட்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன் கேல்குலேஷன் ஸோ லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் டு கரண்ட் லைபிலிட்டிஸ் இக்வல் டு டூ டூ ஒன் அப்போ லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் என்ன ஏற்கனவே நம்ம கரண்ட் லைபிலிட்டி தெரியும் கரண்ட் லைபிரிட்டி இஸ் லெவன் லேக்ஸ் தெரியும் ஸோ லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு லெவன் லேக்ஸ் இஸ் யுவர் கரண்ட் லைபிரிட்டி ஸோ லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் இஸ் டூ டைம்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ லேக்ஸ் தென் லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் டு கரண்ட் லைப்ரரிஸ் பேஸ் பண்ணி கேபிட்டல் ரிசர்வ் சர்ப்ளஸ் இப்போ கண்டுபிடிச்சிடலாம் இப்போ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இப்போ டோட்டல் பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட்ல பார்த்தோம்னா பிக்ஸ் ரெசர்ஸ் போட்டோக்குமா நம்ம போல இருந்தோம் fixed assets evlo question kuduthirukana what is the fixed assets figure patha me question evlo 26 lakhs 26 lakhs 26 very good very good so 26 lakhs is fixed assets namak theriyum 22 lakhs is current assets theriyum so total appo evlo 48 lakhs correct ah let me repeat we know that fixed assets is 26 lakhs current assets is 22 lakhs so total 48 lakhs single total liability say 48 lakhs adile current liability 11 lakhs long term loan 22 33 lakhs poi tha so reserves and surplus and equity evlo baaki epo 15 lakhs very good 15 lakhs put together அதுக்கு தான் என்ன சொல்லிட்டான் ஒரு பார்மலா என்ன கொடுத்துருக்கான் கேபிட்டல் டு ரிசர்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்ப்ளஸ் இஸ் ஒன் இஸ் டு போர் ஒர்க்கிங் நோட் கேபிட்டல் பிளஸ் ரிசர்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்ப்ளஸ் இஸ் பிப்டீன் லேக்ஸ் டுகெதர் கேபிட்டல் டிவைடட் பை ரிசர்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்ப்ளஸ் இஸ் ஒன் இஸ் டு போர் One is to so, capital plus resource and surplus is 15 lakhs, 1 is to 4. The ratio is split from 15 lakhs or 1 is to 4 ratio is split from. So, 15 lakhs in ratio 1 is to 4. So, 3 lakhs. So, capital is 3 lakhs. and resource surplus is 12 lakhs clear da eppadi na adha 1 is to 4 ratio adha 1 is to 4 na mathematically 5 together 15 by 5 is 3 lakhs so 1 is 3 lakhs 4 is 12 lakhs are you able to understand this is pure max capital to resource and surplus is 1 is to 4 capital plus resource and surplus is 15 lakhs So five times of it is fifteen lakhs. So one time is three lakhs. Apo three is to twelve. So this capital is three lakhs, and this is the plus is twelve lakhs. So your balance sheet is put earlier. That one. Put it earlier. Yes. Any doubts? No sir. So all of you understood any doubts? Please let me know. Bharat, Venkatesh. Yes, sir. You clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Super. Very good problem actually. And uh, so I wish you understand this properly. Lot of good things are involved in this calculation wise. Not tough, but uh, lot of calculations are involved in it. so hope you are noted down all of this so if you are not noted down kindly copy the answer and beautiful problem very important type of a problem in ratio analysis if the cost of metal consumed uh, raw metal consumed direct wages and all that so konja down kuranga sir yeah so ellame nama individual la calculate pannom
சார் அந்த இது லெவன் லேக்ஸ் தானே சார் லாங் டேர்ம் லோன் கரண்ட் டயபிட்டிஸு ஹலோ சார் 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 plus So all of you clear any other doubts no, sir. Tell me, the next problem yes, sir. sir yeah uh, this is something similar to what we did now just a minute i will uh, from the following particulars okay i'll type out the question i want you to try this from the following particulars prepare a summarized balance sheet That's on third and three main. Okay, stock turnover ratio six. Fixed assets turnover ratio four. Fixed assets turnover ratio four. Capital turnover ratio. gross profit 20% debt collection period 2 months
two months. Then credit cards payment period. Seventy-three days. Seventy-three days. Gross profit sixty thousand. Gross profit would be sixty thousand. Closing stock was five thousand in excess of closing stock was rupees five thousand in excess of opening stock. All working should form part of your answer. Okay. You know, I'll do this so that no problem. I thought of making you do this, but I'll do this. No issues. So we have to prepare a balance sheet. As on thirty one three ninety. Assets liabilities. Okay. See, they are given stock turnover ratio as six. So stock turnover ratio in the formula. Stock turnover ratio. Goods sold. Data by inventory. Cost of goods sold. Good. Goods sold. By average, so long. Ah, must. Average information. Average, average, average stock. Average stock information. Good. So gross profit is sixty thousand. Which is what percentage? Gross profit ratio is another one. Twenty percent. Twenty percent, sir. Yeah, gross profit ratio is twenty percent. So twenty percent on sales. That is twenty percent on sales. Sixty thousand. So sales is what? Three lakh, sir. Good. For cost of goods sold and man. Cost of goods sold is sales minus GDP. GDP. So that is three lakhs minus gross profit of sixty thousand, two lakh profit. So stock turnover ratio is turnover ratio is given as six. It's six, sir. So six is equal to cost of goods sold by average stock. Cost of goods sold, I'm telling you. Cost of goods sold is two lakh forty. So average stock is how much? Correct? If cost of goods sold is two lakh forty and stock turnover ratio is six, then what is your average stock? You are you are able to understand this point? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, average stock for information record. In information, average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock whole divided by two. Whole divided by two. Okay. Opening stock plus closing stock whole divided by two. When you get the board, right? But the whole deal will be equal. Okay. Opening stock plus closing stock by two and four, right? So opening stock, I want to put the conversion information. Closing stock is five thousand excess of opening stock. So assume opening stock as x. X. So x plus x plus five thousand. Opening stock is more than. Closing stock is more than. So closing stock is. Sorry. Assume opening stock as x, closing stock is x plus five thousand. So closing stock is x plus five thousand. You know five thousand higher than that, right? Yeah. So so average stock is equal to opening stock of five thousand. Opening stock as x, sorry. Opening stock of x plus five thousand plus x. The closing stock, the whole divided by two. So x plus five thousand plus x by two, by a uh, whole divided by two. So x and now is equal to forty thousand. Average stock, can I tell you? Forty thousand. 
So let me repeat opening stock is X, closing stock is X plus. So 2X plus 5,000. 2X plus 5,000 by 2. The whole divided by 2 is equal to 40,000. So 2X plus 5,000 is equal to 80,000. Cross multiply. So 2X is equal to 75,000. And I have to put on a X is equal to what? X is opening stock. So closing stock in a four. Closing stock is 3500 plus 5000. 4500. Okay. Read Any doubt on this? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Hello. Any doubt? So, am I audible? Yes, sir. No doubt. Yeah. So the closing stock figure is forty two five hundred. So assets learn stock forty two five hundred. So, there is an information put through Kanga Parno. Fixer assets turnover ratio is 4. Turnover 3 number. So, fixer assets turnover ratio is 4. Fixer assets turnover ratio and a problem. Fixer assets turnover ratio is 4. That is, sales by fixer assets equal to 4. Sales number can be checked. 3 lakhs by fixer assets equal to 4. Fixer assets are a Sorry. Four the number of the fixed assets by four seventy five thousand. Correct. 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 Fixed assets turnover ratio and a formula. Sales by fixed assets equal to four. Fixed assets area the number. Sales three lakhs area. So three lakhs by fixed assets equal to four. Na. Fixed assets is seventy five thousand. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Then next capital turnover ratio is two for capital turnover is one. Capital turnover ratio is two. So sales by capital is equal to two. Sales is three lakhs. So what is sales? 1.5 lakhs, sir. Sorry, what is capital? Yeah. Capital is equal to 1.5 lakhs. Good. 1 lakh 50,000. Super. 1 lakh 50,000 is the right answer. So capital is 1 lakh 50,000. Capital turnover ratio is equal to credit as payment period. Credit as payment period. So, credit as payment trading a purchase is going to be given. Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock is cost of goods sold. I am getting the figures all the way to the purchase is going to be Opening stock is 3500 plus purchases minus closing stock is 42500 is equal to cost of goods sold 2,40,000. So, Cost of goods sold is equal to. Hello, pa. Cost of goods sold is equal to. 
சாரி சோ பர்ச்சேசஸ் சொல்லிட்டு எவ்வளவு வருது எவ்வளவு வருது பர்ச்சேசஸ் At opening stock minus opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock is called stock put sold. Opening stock is thirty seven five hundred. Purchases tell you as can do but you know minus forty to five hundred is two forty. So purchases is available. Number two lakh forty five thousand. Two lakh forty five thousand. Ah, correct? Ah, yes sir. Okay, so creditors is. Creditors, how many days of creditors payment period? Seventy three days. So, seventy three days. 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 information for reserves and surplus? No. Okay, don't worry. So in the book, fixed assets for touch, stock for touch, let us, let us calculate that one. Did we cancel let us? Let us collection period is two months in Kutra Gaon. In our poor land, let us is two months. All sales are assumed as credit sales because there is no information about credit sales or assumed as credit sales. So total sales three lakhs into two by two. Is your debt us? Hello, hello. Debt us is two months. I am not wrong. Two by twelve out of total sales of three lakhs. So one by six of three lakhs is fifty thousand. So stock can be put charge, debt us can be put charge, fixed assets can be put charge. Closing stock put charge. So if go current assets total, I am not sure. I am not sure. Have they given any information on current assets? No. So, if you don't know, if the sales are total, we will first step. 1,99,000. In the book, 1,99,000. Balancing previous cash and bank. Cash and bank, balancing figure. So, look up on balancing figure. 31,500. Super. First class. Clear any doubt? So let me take you through the calculations. First of all, we got an important information regarding stock turnover ratio, which we know the formula. For that, we need to calculate cost of goods sold for which you have been given GP is 60,000 and 20%. So if GP is 20% and 60,000, sales is 3 lakhs. And cost of goods sold is 2 lakh 40. So with this information, we are able to determine the average stock as 40,000. Average stock is opening stock plus closing stock by 2. Opening stock is 6. Closing stock is 5,000 more than opening stock. So, X plus 5,000. So, as all panna X is opening stock 37,500. Closing stock is 42,500. So, with this information, we are able to determine the closing stock figure. Very important calculation. Then, fixed assets turnover ratio is given as 4. Sales by fixed assets is 4. Sales is 3 lakhs. Fixed assets is 75,000. We got it here. Then, Coming to debtors and creditors calculation. Debtors, all sales are assumed as credit sales because there is no other information given to us. So, 3 lakhs by into 2 by 12, 2 months will give you 50,000. And creditors, 73 days, purchases will calculate for more. So, purchases will either stuff and bigger borrow. We have to calculate purchases based on cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is 2 lakh 40. We know what is opening stock, we know what is closing stock. So, we are determining the purchase figure as. 2,45,000 and into 73 by 365 is credit us. 
So we got Pradita figure of 49,000. Capital figure is not given to us. Capital is given as what? Capital turnover ratio is 2. So sales by capital is 2. Sales is 3 lakhs. So capital is 1 lakh. That's not going to be So in the balance sheet, asset side, stock potential, debt has 50,000. Fixer assets 75,000. Balancing figure is cash because debit side, asset side, and added side total is 1,99,000. So we are completing the problem. Are you clear? Any doubt? No doubt, sir. Okay, I'll give you a homework. Kindly make a note. From the following information, from the following information, prepare a balance sheet, prepare a balance sheet. Prepare a balance sheet. If sales is 32 lakhs, if sales is 32 lakhs, sales to network 2.3 times, two point three times, current debt to network, sales to network. 2.3 times. Sales to network 2.3 times. Current debt to network 42%. Current debt to network 42%. Total debt to net worth, 75%. Current ratio, 2.9 times. Current ratio, 2.9? 2.9 times. Uh, okay. Net sales, net sales to inventory 4.7 times. To inventory, yes, sir. Come on. Net sales to inventory 4.7 times. Now, I agree the assignment to Kurukapura. Anyone you note, Panikongo? 2.7. Net sales to inventory 4.7 times. Okay, sir. Then, the average collection period. Average collection period. Sixty four days. Sixty four days. Fixed assets to net worth. Fixed assets to net worth fifty three point two percent. Fixed assets to net worth fifty three point two percent. Performa balance sheet, asset side. Sir, first picture asset to net, net worth 53.2%. Uh, 53.2%. Yeah, 53.2%. Amma, 53.2%. Net worth 53.2%. Okay, sir. Okay. Summary, performa balance sheet they have given. Performa balance sheet, asset side. Asset side, fixed assets question mark.
स्टॉक क्वेश्चन मार्क डेटा क्वेश्चन मार्क नेक्स्ट लाइब्रेटी साइड नेटवर्क क्वेश्चन मार्क लॉन्ग टर्म डेट क्वेश्चन मार्क करंट डेट क्वेश्चन मार्क नेटवर्क क्वेश्चन मार्क लॉन्ग टर्म डेट सर नेटवर्क क्वेश्चन मार्क लॉन्ग टर्म डेट क्वेश्चन मार्क करंट डेट क्वेश्चन मार्क सो ना उम्मीद असैनमेंट कोशनों जस्ट नोट पड़ी असैनमेंट पाको अंड टू कंप्लीट दि आंसर अंड सब दि असैनमेंट इन इनसी अकाडमी मोबाइल आप ओके so very interesting problem i hope you will be able to do it and there are a lot of interesting problems in ratio analysis so i would uh, recommend you to report as many problems as possible for practice purposes so that you can pick up speed uh, and you uh, know you will be avoiding any errors of any type practice more problems in the next class we will be starting up with a new topic i let you know what is the topic for the next class but as far as ratio analysis we have covered all types of problems important types of problems so kindly make sure that uh, uh, you are going through some addition problems at home and let me know if you got any doubts okay so before we close the class for the any other doubts no sir you are all clear yeah. yes sir yes sir okay thank you uh, for joining in today and have a great day ahead tomorrow we'll meet uh, for the auditing class on audit of corporate societies uh, so that's going to be for, for primarily for ca students uh, ca students i recommend you to attend that tomorrow morning uh, we'll have it at 7 to 8:30 adha na munchukka naalike apra next week prithi we'll start with uh, continue with uh, think uh, amalgamation external reconstruction almost completed so we need to start with uh, some other topic in company accounts so i'll let you know what is the topic for that uh, okay so we'll meet uh, tomorrow again at 7 o'clock thank you take care bye Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Take care. Bye.